Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Photoshop, Photography and Lightroom. I have started a series that is about skin retouching. So this is my third tutorial on skin retouching and today I will talk about dodge and burn. Where we use dodge and burn. Uh, firstly, dodge and burn requires a lot of practice. So what's the use of uh, this uh, dodge and burn and how to use this dodge and burn. All professionals they use dodge and burn always with skin retouching or glamour skin glow. So top of the most this is a uh, topmost layer uh, uh, that is a dodge and burn layer and uh, see the effect of uh, this dodge and burn. This is before and this is after with dodge and burn. So what's the use of uh, dodge and burn? Uh, dojen burn technique is used to show the direction of the light in three dimension. Uh, if you want to show the direction of the light uh, by using dojen burn, doge is to make uh, the portion white and doge is uh, used to make the portion bright, uh, to make the portion uh, dark. So I will delete this layer and uh, uh, in my previous tutorial you can see how got a result uh, from this image to this. Uh, I will make a new layer after deleting this uh, doge and burn layer. I will go to create new layer and uh, I will fill it with 50% uh, gray. 50% gray code is here. 808080 80, 80, 80. then click ok then fill it with 50% gray color then uh, set its blend mode to soft light so there is no effect without doge and burn of this layer on this image now make sure you have uh, chosen this uh, layer now go to doge and burn then uh, firstly I will use burn tool so my aim is to apply dodge and burn for this image for a special effect. So there is uh, two types of tones in this image. Uh, firstly, uh, three types of tones in this image. First is shadows, then midtones, then highlights. So this burn tool I will apply on the shadows part of uh, this portrait. So I will choose midtones then exposure uh, uh, I have used 16% and protect tones then I will apply this brush on uh, this uh, portrait where shadows are there uh, this is portion there are mid tones and shadows this is uh, behind this nose this is uh, doge and burn and uh, this is uh, shadows mid tones and uh, somewhere part on this hand and this so I will adjust the size of this brush then I will apply uh, somewhere on this and you can see a minor difference between uh, before and after then I will show you after this uh, after applying this effect Uh, this is the effect of uh, burn tool as you can see this is before and this is after now this time I will use dodge to make highlights pop up for this I choose highlights then again exposure uh, as per the need of the image then somewhere on this then I will re adjust this somewhere on nose
so as you can see uh, there is a lots of uh, difference with both image uh, this is the image uh, only effects glow effect and this is the image with the effect of doge and burn so doge and burn is usually to make uh, the effect of uh, lighting effect uh, suppose lighting is coming from left side and uh, you, uh, there is a, you can judge the uh, light is coming from this side and uh, there is a good effect by using this doge and burn and uh, it's a very very useful effect and uh, and uh, you should practice for this it requires a lot of practice with each setting of this uh, shadow mid tones and highlight so this effect is uh, without uh, doge and burn this is with doge and burn and i hope you have liked this video and uh, this is the method that uh, you can use the doge and burn by making this uh, layer uh, uh, filling it with the 50% gray and set it blend mode to soft light then again you can readjust the opacity for this image and uh, if i make a new copy for this and uh, and uh, one more thing you can do uh, i can blur this uh, doge and burn layer by going uh, filter blur and uh, gaussian blur so somewhere some hard light is uh, there so that's why i want some glow i think uh, Twelve is working better for this. So, if you copy of this layer, then uh, you can uh, play with all uh, this blending modes. So this is the effect of both doge and burn layer. So this is simple. So I hope you have liked this video and keep watching my tutorials on Arun's creation. Thank you friends.